Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will look at why posterior acoustic enhancement appears bright on ultrasound. Posterior acoustic enhancement, also called through transmission or simply enhancement, is an ultrasound artifact that occurs when sound waves pass through a structure that has lower attenuation as compared to the surrounding tissues. An ultrasound beam encounters various tissues of different densities as it passes through the body. Some tissues attenuate, that is, absorb and scatter the ultrasound waves more than others. Attenuation refers to the weakening or decrease in intensity of the ultrasound wave as it passes through the body's tissues. Fluid-filled structures such as cysts are low attenuating structures, which means ultrasound waves do not lose much energy when they pass through low attenuating structures. Cysts are filled urinary bladder gallbladder and blood vessels are examples of low attenuating structures. On ultrasound, these structures appear anechoic or black. When you find these structures, you see a bright hyperechoic area just behind the anechoic structure. This bright area is posterior acoustic enhancement. It occurs because when ultrasound waves pass through the anechoic fluid filled structure, they don't lose much energy as compared to when they pass through nearby solid tissues. The image on the left is of simple liver cysts. Anechoic cysts have bright posterior acoustic enhancement. Ultrasound waves passing through anechoic fluid lose less energy compared to when they pass through solid liver tissue. More ultrasound energy is lost in the liver tissue, while very little ultrasound energy is lost in the cyst. The same phenomena applies to a renal cyst. I am just showing you some examples. More ultrasound energy is lost in the renal tissue, while very little ultrasound energy is lost in the cyst. After passing through the cyst, the ultrasound waves encounter solid liver tissue, they will reflect. Ultrasound waves do not reflect when they are inside a cyst. They just simply pass through. Now these waves did not lose much energy when they passed through the cyst. They will have more intensity when they reach the solid tissue. That is why they appear bright. Because of higher intensity, higher energy. The reflected ultrasound waves from the region behind the cyst are received by the ultrasound machine. The machine processes these signals and displays bright posterior acoustic enhancement. The cyst itself does not produce echoes, which is why it appears anechoic. The bright area behind the cyst has high intensity echoes because the ultrasound waves lose very little energy passing through the cyst. This low attenuation leads to acoustic enhancement, making this area appear bright. In contrast, ultrasound waves passing through solid liver tissues and solid kidney tissues, while completely avoiding the cyst, continue to lose energy as they travel through the organs. These waves do not encounter any low attenuating structures resulting in echoes that appear gray. These are images of the eye and a simple breast cyst. The eye is a fluid-filled structure. 
The vitreous humor is a gel-like fluid that fills the posterior chamber of the eye. It has low attenuation, so when ultrasound waves pass through it, they lose very little energy. They don't reflect and easily pass through the fluid, ending up with high intensity posterior to the eye. These high intensity ultrasound waves will reach the back of the eye and reflect when they reach solid tissues. The echoes received by the machine will have high energy, leading to their bright appearance. This phenomenon is acoustic enhancement. The breast cyst is a low attenuating structure, so posterior acoustic enhancement will be noted behind the cyst. An abscess is a localized collection of pus. It has a mixture of fluid and cellular debris such as dead white blood cells, bacteria and tissue cells. Overall, an abscess is a liquid, so it is also a low attenuating structure. So posterior enhancement is also seen behind an abscess. You can notice increased brightness behind the liver abscess and the breast abscess. Ultrasound waves pass through the liquid contents of the abscess and reflect off the solid cellular materials. This reflection of the solid materials produces medium level internal echoes inside the abscess. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.